Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Tidelands by Philippa Gregory, and this is part of a new series that she is writing, I think, it, writing, I think it's called the Fair Mile series, I believe, and it takes place in the mid-1600s, um, it's kind of like 40-something years after Elizabeth Tudor, after the Tudors, so, um, it takes place during Charles the First, and this story tells the story of Eleanor, who is a hardworking woman on Silsea Island who has two children, um, Rob and Alice, and she is very poor. Her husband has left her, so she's kind of scraping by and taking like odd jobs within the town and then she falls in love with a priest that she meets and just her you know story about that and just about her and the people in the town and then the priest and who he really is and this is all taking place during the trial of King Charles the first and the one thing that I did like about this book is that it is a really different story. Usually, for the most part, um, Philippa, Gre Philippa Gregory are the ones, the books that I've read. They focus on well-to-do women, royalty, or uh, like duchesses and queens and people that are really well off. But this is one of the first times that I've seen, maybe in other books she's read about this, but this is one of the first times that I've seen that she has read about women that are poor and kind of scraping by. And it was really interesting to see, like, a lot of their, even though years and years have passed since the Tudor period, a lot of uh, things, the views about women have not changed. Um, women that were you know, uh, their hus her husband left her, so she's kind of on, uh, she's kind of not really looked too well upon as some of the other women that have their uh, husbands at home and that are a little bit more well off. And I really liked seeing that, and I kind of knew that that was the case, that, you know, until fairly recently, women were seen as second-class citizens, and you had to be really careful, especially in these days, because people still believed in witchcraft. It was as real as, you know, as they believed that heaven was real. You know, it was that real to them. And one, a couple things that I had problems with the book is the first one is from reading the back of the book, for some reason I thought there'd be more witchcraft in this as her doing witchcraft, um, maybe more like, um, the White Queen, which they, where her, the Elizabeth Woodville and her mother did a lot more actual witchcraft that made things occur. I thought it was going to be like that, because I really love that witchcraft element. I think it's really, really cool. Now, another thing is, this is kind of a, neutral point. But at first this book started off really slow and for some reason I thought we were going to be just around Seal Sea Island and I'm like when does the actual story start? It's just about her in this town and her daughter wanting more than what she has and her son doing this and that. I'm not going to give too much away because I didn't know too much until I read the book. So I thought we were going to be in one place but it really kind of turned me for a loop and you see a lot of different places during this time and you really get to see different characters and what was going on in the town surrounding Eleanor and around London. I think it takes a little bit of place in London. And I'm not going to give too much away, but the ending was really a cliffhanger and you can, you can really tell that this is going to be a series. And I, I do want to read it. I wasn't sure if I was going to finish this series, but I read it. And I think I'm going to finish it. I just want to see what happens to them. So that is all I want to say about this book. 
and this was really good. I had an iTunes account, so I downloaded this from iTunes, but it is available in print and on Audible as well, but I had an iTunes card, so I decided to buy it on iTunes, and so, yeah, so I'm buying it on iTunes. So, that is all I want to say about this book, and wow, two books in one week, that's really cool, because um, I think I, I uploaded the Borgia Bride, like, two days ago. So I will see you all in the next video and I'm churning them out in 2020. That was, that was my new year's resolution. One of my new year's resolutions. I'm churning them out in 2020. I have two books in January. It's been awesome. So let me know what you think about this book. If you liked it, I liked it. I'd like seeing a different time period because, um, her, I think I thought that her Tudor Plantagenet series didn't need to be as long as it did. And I, and I think this is going to be a trilogy, so it's not going to be that long. So I will see you all in the next video, and I'm turning books out in 2020. Bye, guys.